Uh, thank you, members. Um, good morning, ladies uh, from uh, Fiji, rights, uh, Fiji Women Rights Movement. Um, dear viewers, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you back to our third submissions for the day. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome everyone uh, to this particular submission. As mentioned in today's earlier submission, this submission will also be made available to general public uh, through our Wallace platform. And therefore, kindly in, uh, advising that if there is any information that cannot be disclosed in front of public, that can be given to us in writing or in private. Uh, also, all this inquiry is conducted under the Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act. In terms of protocols, we'll request uh, uh, no use of mobile phones and uh, all mobile phones to be switched on silent while we are actually having this particular submission. And uh, now I'd like to take this time and opportunity to introduce myself and my members. I'm Elvik Maharaj, uh, Government Whip and Chairperson on Justice, Law and Human Rights. I'll request Honorable Salik Govin if he can uh, introduce himself, please. Yeah, Honorable Chair, Secretariat and uh, distinguished panel of uh, presenters this morning, I am Honorable Dr. Salik Govin. I am a member of the Justice, Law and Human Rights Committee. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable uh, Salik. Honorable Rohit Sharma, if you can actually introduce yourself, please. Thank you, uh, Honorable Chair, and I would like to uh, welcome the uh, presenters uh, this morning. Uh, uh, I am uh, Honorable Rohit Pitesh Sharma, uh, Deputy Chair and uh, Deputy Government Whip. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Honorable Sharma. Uh, once again, I take this opportunity to welcome the team from Fiji Women Rights Movement. I shall now give the floor to the representative of the movement, if they can actually introduce themselves and uh, we can start the submission proper. and Transitional Justice Program at Fiji Women's Rights Movement. Here with me are my colleagues, Ms. Venice Lepa. Ms. Venice Lepa is our legal rights officer, and we have Ms. Lisa Bulatale. She is our research officer. Okay. Uh, thank you for that introduction. And now the floor is all yours to do the submission before the committee. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chair. We uh, take this opportunity, we welcome the opportunity to present our submission. we we'll get right into it. Uh, Chair, the Fiji Women's Rights Movement is established in 1986, is a multi-ethnic and a multicultural non-governmental organization committed to removing all forms of discrimination against women through institutional reform and attitudinal change through targeted research and advocacy. Being a feminist organization, FWRM uses feminist analysis as a basis for this submission to address gender inequality. Global developments in information and communications technologies, ICTs, has meant the increasing number of online users, sharing of personal information online, and the availability of surveillance systems and mass data collection capabilities for both large companies and government. The right to privacy from increased government surveillance and mass government data collection in Fiji remains an unexplored territory. In 2015, allegations of the neighboring countries spying on Fiji surfaced in the mainstream India, which sparked a national debate on privacy laws and protection of Pacific Island countries from international surveillance. The impact of such invasion of privacy on women, children, and, vulnerable, and vulnerabilities remains unclear and undocumented. FWRM takes this opportunity to submit herein our analysis and recommendations in response to the proposed cybercrime bill, Bill 11 of 2020, herein will refer it as the bill. In terms of the issues of concerns, uh, Ms. Bernice Lata will be uh, discussing the, guide, uh, the guiding principles to include human rights and freedoms. Moving forward, Ms. Lisa Bolatale will be uh, discussing issue two, and I will conclude by discussing issue three and the recommendations. I'll now give the opportunity to Ms. Lata to uh, present. Thank you, Anatika. Some issues of concern for the Fiji Women's Rights Movement. The first issue being that the guiding principles include human rights and freedoms. FWRM welcomes the effort of the state 
to align with the International Convention on Cybercrime, the Budapest Convention. FWRM notes that the bill seeks to align to the requirements under the Budapest Convention and also introduces new provisions on substantive cybercrime offenses, procedural requirements, remedies in relation to cybercrime offenses, the collection of electronic evidence, and international cooperation for this purpose as set out in the explanatory notes section. FWRM makes reference to the preamble of the Budapest Convention and calls specific reference to paragraph 10 of the preamble of the convention. Of the I, I believe we are facing some technical glitch at the moment. To a, a proper balance between and respect for fundamental human. Honourable Chair, if I may assist, um, the uh, submitters are submitting through their written submission. Yeah. I think they, um, there's a certain technical difficulties from their end. If uh, the Honourable Marcel uh, indulges, I may. Oh. Okay. Back in. Okay. Uh, apologies, we seem to have lost you. I will re restart um, from the point that I was previously making. Uh, FWRM makes reference to the preamble of the Budapest Convention and calls specific reference to paragraph 10 of the preamble of the Budapest Convention, which states, mindful of the need to ensure a proper balance between the interests of law enforcement and respect for fundamental human rights as enshrined in the Council of Europe Convention for the Protection of Human Rights and Freedoms, the ICCPR and other applicable international human rights treaties, which reaffirm the right of everyone to hold opinions without interference, as well as the right to freedom of expression, including the freedom to seek, receive and impart information and ideas regardless of frontiers and the rights concerning the respect for privacy. FWRM strongly believes that the bill must have guiding principles appropriate application of the same to ensure that there is no compromise of people's fundamental human rights so enshrined in Fiji's constitution by virtue of section 24 of the said constitution. Now I will hand over the submissions to my colleague, Ms. Lace. Thank you. So the next uh, issue of concern then, <clears throat> excuse me, that the Fiji Women's Rights Movement would like to make for this submission is the issue of right to privacy uh, of women and girls in Fiji. Um, as articulated by uh, the introduction, the right to privacy and the invasion of privacy is still an unexplored territory, but perhaps now uh, with, uh, in the context of COVID-19. Um, and FWM strongly recommends that the right to privacy be a priority for government, um, articulated in both policy and law and as, and as well as in practice. Um, we believe that the role of government in national emergencies, um, pandemics, um, in the issue of national securities, is that the rights and freedoms of Fijians be protected and safeguarded as um, you know, enshrined in our constitution. Um, but we do know that there is a thin line um, with that, as well as the roles and responsibilities. Um, so we submit uh, in, the, in our submission is that the rationale for um, mass government surveillance and data collection follow a strict guideline um, that could be articulated in both policy and law and practice, as well as a strict criteria 
with adequate oversight in how um, mass government surveillance and data collection um, is uh, carried forward. Chair, I will be now uh, discussing the third issue. Our third issue is privacy and security of Fijian women human rights defenders. Uh, I have notes that in part five, procedural measures, section 16, under general procedural powers, the bill states that the application of the same, the bill also under any other written law. This is concerning especially for special groups such as women human rights defenders, as in the past, women human rights defenders have been subject to surveillance harassment and intimidation whilst they were carrying out their work in advocating for women's human rights. This particular section could be used as a blanket approval to target women human rights defenders who are vocal in highlighting the violations of women's human rights. In the fifth review of the Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, the CEO had made A reference to the role of women human rights defenders in promoting the implementation of the convention. In the third UPR review, PG also has accepted the recommendation from Spain to ensure the trade union and human rights defenders are able to carry out their work, guaranteeing their freedom of expression, association, assembly, and freedom of press. In concluding, we would like to send the safeguards for Fiji to meet its obligation under Article 17 and 19 of the International Convention on the Civil and Political Rights. Two, FWRM calls on the Standing Committee to ensure that the bill is annexed with a set of comprehensive procedural rules for carrying out investigation by state or any other investigative body that the bill establish appropriate, readily accessible, and unbureaucratic redress mechanisms for aggrieved persons, including women, girls, and women human rights defenders investigated under this bill. FWRM strongly reiterates the need for the government to also consult with diverse women's groups and women human rights defenders, conducting meaningful engagement and collaborative work with women's human rights organizations, local women's groups and grassroots organizations in addressing societal and cultural norms that act as barriers for women and girls in needing is in, in needed during national processes in drafting and implementation of new policies and laws. FWRM strongly recommends that the government show that the measures taken to rationalize mass surveillance and data collection is necessary, has a time limit, and is implemented with transparency and adequate oversight by all stakeholders, women's human rights organizations, civil society organizations, and public through meaningful engagement. We would like to, this is the um, end of our submission. We would like to welcome any questions or comments uh, on our submission. Uh, thank, you, thank you very much, uh, the team from Fiji Women Rights Movement, uh, for doing this comprehensive uh, submission to the committee. I shall now open the floor if my members have any questions or clarity they would like to seek from the movement. Sure. You can do so now. Members? It's Honorable Chair. Yeah. Yes, Honorable Salik Govin. The Honorable Chair, I'd like to thank the presenters uh, for the insight and uh, comprehensive presentation. I have one comment and maybe question. You know, a lot has been said about protecting the rights of women and children, uh, especially girls. Uh, so I, I was just thinking that currently a lot of uh, personal information especially by young people, is being posted on social media. So protection of rights really starts uh, with individuals. And what uh, Human Rights, uh, Fiji Human Rights uh, Association is doing to educate people not to post unnecessary uh, personal things on social media, which puts them at greater risk of such crimes.
Um, thank you, uh, Honorable um, uh, member of the Standing Committee. Um, as I already mentioned, Fiji Women's Rights Movement is a non-governmental organization looking in the area of uh, legislative and policy reform. In terms of uh, people on social media and how, how they are accessing social media, of course, we, uh, I would like to make reference to our constitution, which says everyone has the right uh, of freedom of expression, and this is not limited to social media as well. Additionally, how one behaves uh, must be, of course, lawful in lawful manners. Um, in terms of the work of FWRM, we are actually working with the young women's groups. Uh, we have multiple forums. We have the Fiji Young Women's Forum, Fiji Women's Forum, and we also work with girls. Uh, they are between the ages of 10 to uh, 14 years old, educating them about right, not only about right to privacy, but also right to accessing and uh, lawful use of, of social media. So although we strongly understand, uh, we strongly believe that everyone has the right, of course, we also must not forget that people uh, should not violate anyone else's rights in terms of expression or social media or even violating their rights. Thank you. What are your some suggestion and comments on the right protection of rights online compared to the protection of rights which are like in normal practice in life? Like for example, um, what do you have to say with regards to rights of expression? Yes. Online and rights to expression of a person. Okay. So generally with or without online, um, I will just make reference to the question. Constitution of Fiji, we are all guaranteed the rights. So these rights are not just limited in to just online. It is equal across the board because of course the constitution is not online platforms. So of course I would believe everyone has the equal right. Um, in, in terms of the constitution, which is uh, which has enshrined uh, uh, um, these rights upon the people, uh, of course, we know comes with limitations, particularly in terms of uh, harmful incidences as well. So that is what we all need to be mindful of, not to just not violate another person's right, but also in terms of other people violating our rights. Okay, I believe we are again facing some uh, technical glitch there. Would you yeah. like to, would you like me to repeat my response, sir? No, it was just the end bit, I believe. Uh, just the uh, last uh, few sentences uh, we missed on that. Okay. Mm. So, uh, yes, I would. I would uh, repeat myself again. So as um, I was sharing that because our constitution grants us these rights, it's not just limited to um, uh, media platforms or in real life. It is all across the border. Okay. So, uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. I think the network network is quite bad today. Uh, Honorable Chair, I would like to uh, thank the uh, presenters uh, this morning. I have no further comment. Thank you. Okay. Any final comments from the movement with regards to today's submission? No, sir. Okay. Um, on that note, on uh, of we would yes. like to uh, extend that if the committee has any further questions or
Okay. Um, on on behalf of the committee yeah. on justice and human yeah. rights. That's it from our end. Okay. Okay. Th thank you very much, uh, Madam, and the team from uh, Fiji Women Rights Movement. Uh, thanks a lot for availing yourself to do this submission before us. Uh, We shall definitely be deliberating uh, further on the submission that you have actually provided to us. And if there is any further clarification or uh, inquiry that needs to be made, we'll be actually writing formally back to you people to get a clarification on it. Uh, thank you very much for today's submission. Vinata. Sure.